okay, I've just kind of let the system set just to see what happens over time. And then I wanted to come back and take a look at things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can't retest my ping. So I'll say show IP interface brief. Exclude assigned addresses and ping 10, 1, 10, 2, just to see if I can ping across. And then over here, what I'm going to do is try the same thing, only I'll just say ping 10, 1, 10, 1. And <clears throat> we can see here, no successful pings. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a look at the system straight from the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say show. BGP, LLDP, I'm sorry, BGP, layer 2, e VPN, EVPN, and I want to do a summary, and I want to see if I'm learning anything, and what we do see is, notice we are learning something from 10177101, so that's this guy right here, so if I come over here and say show BGP, layer 2, VPN, EVPN, and I'm going to go to my neighbor, one nine two one six eight and seven seven two oh one and i want to see what i'm advertising we can see that i am advertising routes and i am advertising information about a layer two vni out of that connection also if i come over here and say show in the vni and we want to say um control plane and hit enter, we can see that indeed I have an NVE1 with that VNI using Unicast uh, bro uh, Bridge Protocol on um, Border Gateway Protocol. Its state is up. It's operating in control plane mode, and it's a layer two bridge domain VRF config. Now, I can see that that information is indeed arriving over here by just basically saying show EVPN and take the summary off, and sure enough, there is the information that is being advertised to me. This is the information that I am actually showing that I'm receiving. So what I want to do is I want to see if I'm able to send it over to 9K3. So I'm going to say show BGP layer 2 EVPN, uh, layer 2 VPN EVPN neighbor, and we'll do 192.168.77.102 advertised routes and see if I'm advertising those prefixes over, and indeed I am. Then when I come over to leaf 102 and I say show BGP layer 2 VPN EVPN summary, we notice I'm not receiving anything. And when I take a look at the configuration here for my system, I mean, there's absolutely nothing there. There's no routes, which is what I would anticipate. And what I want to do is I want to know what's happening with my control plane. So I'm going to say show in VE. VNI control plane and notice right here we have we have an issue here notice this is my state is down NVE says it it's using the exact same um VN, VNI oh now notice here look here my VNIs don't match so again this is a troubleshooting exercise and we can see here that the con configuration on this side is down so if the VNIs don't match, let's say show, run, and we'll say, um, well, let's just say pipe section VLAN 10. Uh, sorry, I need to use quotations. And we see here that we put the VNI in, the VNI segment, but let's take a look at the NVE. Show, run, interface, NVE1. And notice right here, we have a typographical mistake. So if I come in here and say config T, and we go ahead and do this, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say no member. Sorry. No member, and then I'll say member VNI 10010. And then I'll go ahead and specify my ingress replication protocol as BGP. And we take a look at what's going on now. Let's see what happens. So if I do a show BGP layer 2 VPN EVPN and we look at the values, now I'm learning prefixes. In fact, what we'll find is, is that if I take a look at the EVPN summary, I'll actually be seeing prefixes going bidirectionally. 
Now, I still did not show IPBGP summary. I still do not see a BGP peer, which remember, we didn't want to do an IPV4 BGP peer. It's not impacting scenarios or situations. In these demonstrations, most students think that that's got something to do with it, and it doesn't. Just understand that now I actually am able to send the or form the adjacency. So let's take a look at the control plane. So I'm going to say show NVE, and I'm going to say control. Um, we need to say show NVE VNI control dash plane. Now notice my configuration here is up and it matches layer two VN10. So what's happening there is, is we're not able, we were not able to actually negotiate what was actually happening. And that was bringing our interface, our NVE performance was down, even though it said that it was up. So please just understand that the fact that the NVE is up doesn't have anything to do with the fact that it can successfully negotiate or leverage the control plane infrastructure that we built. So this is a perfect example of the type of problem, the type of issue that we could encounter. Now what I want to do is I want to actually see if I do have reachability across my infrastructure. And we'll go ahead and give that a try. In fact, I'm pinging the wrong address up here. So let me, um, I'll just ping from this side. So can I ping 10, 1, 10, 2? Sure enough, I can. If I do a trace route, to 10, 1, 10, 2, numeric. I'm actually a uh, trace route. Sorry, trace route to 10, 1, 10, 2, numeric. And we'll see here I'm layer 2 adjacent. So at this particular juncture, it looks like it's one hop away. Now, there are some really, really cool things that I want to call our attention to. So as an example, if I come in here and I say show run interface, and I say Ethernet 00, zero on this device. What we'll see here is I've actually configured a custom MAC address. I've done the same thing over here. It's cafe and beef, if I remember correctly. So show run interface Ethernet 00, zero. and this guy is CCIE. So CCIE and cafe. Now what I want to do is over here, I want to say show MAC address. And what we're going to find here is this, this doesn't really work for me. Because there is no ASICs in a virtual 9K. So the, can, the, the command I'm going to do is I'm going to say show system. I'm going to say internal layer 2 forwarder is what I'm going to do is forwarder. And I'm going to say MAC address. And this is going to give me a way of being able to look into my MAC address table on a Nexus 9K that's virtual. A physical 9K, obviously, that MAC address would work. And we can see here it's actually telling me that CCIE or CCI1E is actually located on this physical interface right here. Now let's go ahead and see if we can get a ping going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, can I ping 10, 1, 10, 1 and see if I've got reachability. And let's see if that modifies my table any. And we see here we have the physical connection. Let's take a look at this guy over here. And let's take a look and see how things are reachable. So if I say show system internal layer two forwarder MAC addresses. And we see here cafe is reachable out of this interface right here. What we're seeing here is, is only seeing the physically connected resources. So these MAC addresses, let's say show MAC address table. Oh, this is a um, router. So, sorry. So, show. Yeah. So, you'll notice here that. I have physical connectivity to leaf and then I did the leaf as core. So I'm trying to ascertain what's going on and I actually need to clear the cam table. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, normally I would just say clear Mac address dash table and it would work. But the problem is, is it's not actually going to do that for me. I'd have to come in here and say dynamic. Or I could do data path, um, uh, but I'm not really going to worry about any of those. The thing that we need to look at, if I come over here and repeat my 
show internal. It really didn't do anything. On a Nexus 9K that's virtual, what we need to do is we need to see a clear MAC address table. And what we're going to do is we're going to say data path. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say anything that was learned dynamic. And let's see if that actually clears my table any. And we see in this particular juncture, juncture all I see is my leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that value right here and do the exact same thing over on this guy right here. So I'm going to say I want to copy that in there and clear the table. And then I'll just up arrow to the show layer two forwarder. And let's see if we can actually get anything. And actually we are. So right here, notice that 100001C CCIE, which is this guy right here. We see that it's reachable. And notice it's reachable via the NVE peer of 192.168.100.102. 102 is LEAF 102. So when we go through and we take a look at what's going on, it was always there. Um, actually, uh, maybe the clear did fix it. So as far as that goes, let's see. Uh, the layer two MAC address. Yes, we can see right here that cafe, which is this guy right here, show, run, interface, Ethernet, zero slash zero. And what we should see is that's cafe. So obviously that MAC address is also reachable via my NVE here. Now, other things that we could actually look at, which we'll explore a little bit later in some subsequent videos. And I want to talk about this from a uh, theoretical perspective a little bit later on, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what goes into building these infrastructures and how small and how delicate a mistake can actually cause some pretty significant issues with regard to interpretation, which is why it's always important to learn how to troubleshoot these VXLAN tunnels, even if it's something as simple as a layer two VNI connection that's going to be running in our environment. So I wanted to um, basically give you guys a walkthrough on this. The next video is going to be uh, from the perspective of uh, looking at this from the theoretical. And what we'll do is we're going to leave, I'm going to leave everything up and operational. And then what I want to do is I actually want to throw up some wire sharks and some wire captures in order to be able to take a look at exactly what's transpiring in our infrastructure. Not going to get to that today though. I will get these videos uploaded so that you guys can watch them and I will hopefully see you guys soon. This is Terry. Take care.